the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Joyfully shout all you on earth. Give praise to the glory of God. And with him sing out his glorious praise. Alleluia. Let all the earth kneel in his sight. Let all the earth kneel in his sight, extolling his marvelous fame. Honor his name in highest heaven, give praise, alleluia. Come forth and see all the great works that God has brought forth by his might. Fall on your knees before his glorious throne, alleluia. Glory and thanks be to the Father, honor and praise to the Son, and to the Spirit, source of life and of love, alleluia. My dear friends, today the church celebrates the feast of the archangels, Michael, Gabriel and Raphael. My dear friends, in the Holy Scriptures, the angels are the, are the alterity of God, or the otherness of God. The power, the glory of the Lord is manifested in angelic power. We see throughout the Holy Scriptures the mission of the angels carrying out the will of God. For example, we see in the book of Genesis how three angels uh, visit the house of Abraham and brings them the message of the birth of a son. Similarly, when Tobias loses his sight because of the pigeon droppings and we have Raphael bringing the healing from God and once again he get back, gets back his sight. And in the New Testament we have Gabriel bringing the message of Annunciation to Blessed Mother as well as about the birth of John the Baptist to the father of John the Baptist that is Zechariah. And once again we see in the book of Revelation how in the fight between the angelic power and the demon, the devil, the devil was defeated and he was thrown to the earth. My dear friends, therefore the angels carry out the will of God fully to the hundred percent, to the perfect will because their freedom is surrendered fully to God. We who are humans, we are still free, we are embodied beings whereas the angels are only spiritual beings. Therefore we do have choice. To choose between good and evil, the light or darkness. And whatever force that we encourage, whatever thoughts that we encourage, and that's what we will become. A small kid had uh, two dogs and vehemently they were fighting always. Therefore he came and asked his grandpa, Grandpa, which of the dog will win? And grandpa said, whichever dog you feed. Therefore, what kind of thoughts we feed into our mind? The same desires will be born in our body and same action will be carried out in our hands and in our being. Therefore, we need to screen just as we take precautions for against the COVID virus and against our spiritual virus, spiritual wiles, we need to take precaution. That is cutting the thought, cutting the sinful thought in the root itself. That's what Jesus says. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it out. Which means to say, remove the evil at its birth itself. Therefore, let us ask Jesus that as we uh, receive this power and spirit in our baptism, we may always listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit, calling us to be holy, calling us to do good and to avoid evil so that we may be, we may be worthy sons and daughters of God. Towards this grace, let us pray. When I look into your holiness, when I gaze upon your loveliness, when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you, when I find the joy of reaching your heart, when my will becomes enthralled in your love, when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you, I worship you, I worship you, the reason I live is to worship you, I worship you, I worship you, the reason I live is to worship you. Let us pray. Jesus, we praise and thank you for the freedom that you have entrusted so that we may 
opt for goodness light and love empower our freedom our choices and our desire and our thirst so that we may always live as the children of light befitting lives to the sons and daughters of the heavenly father empower us with the holy spirit so that in our thoughts in our words and deeds we may live a life pleasing in your sight we make this prayer in your holy name dear lord amen the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father and the son the holy spirit amen